Hey everybody, um, you know, I was thinking about what I would say uh, today, and as I was sitting there and got to listen to some of the words that were spoken uh, by everybody, but in particular uh, the family, and uh, one thing that I saw, you know, in the beginning she was nervous, yes. didn't know if she could if she could do it or not, and uh, she had two pillars beside her. And that's, that's life where we live. You know, I grew up a county over in Bamberg County, and it doesn't matter whether it's Bamberg, Allendale, or Hampton, uh, things can be a little tougher uh, in our neck of the woods. Um, but I'm reminded of a quote from Eric Thomas, he says, pain is temporary. It can last for a minute, for an hour, for a month, or even a year. But eventually it will subside and something else will take its place. If I quit, however, it will last a lifetime. And that is how we live here. That is how Ms. Gloria lived. That is how her family continues to live. That is how Eric and his partner have fought uh, from the beginning through today. There's no quitting. And when I look at this stage, you know, and I look out in the crowd, and I think about, you know, having grown up small rural South Carolina, you know, Hampton County, So often we're forgotten in the state, you know, and I speak from the lawyer side, but as, as a state representative, uh, good friends along with Shedron uh, Williams, Representative Williams, we're forgotten so much down here. And it's a fight every day. And we go through a lot of pain. And this family went through a lot of pain. Not just, not just the pain of what happened to them after. We're talking about the pain before, the losing Gloria. And no one ever quit, right? And, and it just, I'm proud to be here. I'm honored to be here. I'm honored to uh, know that uh, Eric and his team are committed to not just, not just fighting for justice, but fighting for a legacy. You know, I'm, I'm proud of the family. Um, to y'all, I just want to say, you know, folks like me and Eric and, and Ronnie, you know, we've never been in your shoes. Um, very few people have. And I can't tell you how proud I was to see everything that y'all have done and how you've carried yourself. Um, I know Gloria is proud looking down on you all. Um, I know she's absolutely proud looking down on you all. And uh, I am happy to support your organization. Um, I will be making a donation uh, myself to the organization as well. And to everybody watching, the fact that a family could go through what they went through and at the end of the day, not be selfish and not just think about them, but to think about everybody else and trying to help everybody else. That's what people need to know about the people who live here. That's what people need to know about Hampton County. That's what people need to know about this family. And I encourage and I'm asking everybody to support, support the organization, support this family, support their legal team, support the community. Because like we used to say growing up, at the end of the day, we all we got. <laughs> and if you grow up in Bamberg and, and Hampton, you know that. We all we got. <laughs> so if we don't stick together and we don't have each other's back, uh, I mean, that's the way that we're going to make it through it. That's how the families made it through it. Uh, so God bless y'all. God bless uh, the family, uh, Miss Gloria, the legal team. Um, and uh, 
I apologize for being late. Uh, thank you for being so cool. <laughs> and uh, look forward to just seeing great things, uh, great things, great things. Thank you all. Well, now I have the distinct pleasure of introducing a lovely lady. Um, she is the number one podcast in America. Y'all don't want to hear from lawyers or whatever. You're going to hear from the real deal. This is the, the Murdoch Murdoch's, Murdoch murders with her hus uh, soon-to-be husband, David Moses. They have done an amazing job in taking this story and nationalizing it and internationalizing it. I have heard from so many different people after I've been on uh, some of Mandy's podcasts that they're engaged, they're listening, they, they, they give so many good tips. You know, throughout our prosecution of this case, we got so many great tips. You know, occasionally you get the crackpot, but a lot of them are very, very good tips. And let me just give you a little a vignette. We, uh, I used to, I got an email from somebody in Miami who was telling me about all the different property transfers that all the different players had done in this case, whether it was Alex or members of his firm. And I just kind of put it off to the side. And when I was meeting with SLED and the FBI, they said, you know, we really can't make heads or tails out of all these different property transferred. How did Alex get the Mizell property? What's his relationship to Bulware, yada, 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 all these different fish camps. And we just can't figure it out. They're all in different names. They get transferred in and out, in and out. And it dawned on me. I said, you know what? There's a lady in Miami who... Um, has been sending me just incredible amounts of information, charted information that shows property in, property out. Turns out that she was a retired insurance executive, um, had nothing to do other than taking care of her 86-year-old mother, and she got hooked after listening to Mandy's um, podcast. And so she started searching all the available records for, for title documents, and now she provides information and documents, not only to the government, but to the receivers, uh, John Lay and Peter McCoy. So, you know, Mandy has an amazing audience, and I'm so looking forward to hearing from her. And let's go, Mandy. Okay. Well, I'm not a public speaker, so bear with me here. Um, great job to everybody before. but. I want to start out by saying thank you to the Satterfield family. Your courage and bravery while enduring tragedy is beyond inspiring. Not just to me, but to our entire Fitz News team and now millions of others. So thank you. Today is about celebrating Gloria's life, celebrating her love of God, Christmas, her community, and her family. Today is about celebrating the light that Gloria will shine on her community for years to come. Thank, thanks to the courage of the Satterfield family and those who stood by them. Today is about remembering the fact that a few courageous acts changed the tide of this community. We all thrive in the sunlight. And this foundation will provide joy and hope for so many of those struggling in Hampton for years to come. Today, we are all moving forward with courage and inspiration. Every day, we are all faced with choices. I hope this event today reminds everyone to always choose what is right, choose what is brave, Choose what is difficult. It is always worth it. Thank you to Tony, Brian, Eric, and Ronnie for, and the rest of the Satterfield family for inviting me today. I know there is more great news on the horizon for all, from all of us, so stay tuned. Thank you.